So let me explain what we do. So you'll see that this GXP 7 element 7 bander has all the inner elements all connected to the boom. Bobby set it up, got all the element perfectly spaced, got the whole thing level. He's got the ballon on. He's got the rope. This is the uh, boom strut rope. He's got that already connected. You can see this is the supports for the um, 40, ele 40 meter elements. So there's um, 20, actually, this, sorry, that's the 20 meter. This is the 40 meter. So if you see element, element support, this is very thick tubing. And this is where, where the um, supports for the 40 meter elements are. So you got one, two, three, four, five supports. Because three of the elements are 20 meters that have elements hung underneath for 12 and 17. This is a very well manufactured antenna. The GFP 7 Element 7 Bander is the Polish miracle. And uh, the material is really nice. So we get a support mast here um, that he supplies. And you see Bobby's already got the support U-bolt on there. And uh, but this is the GXP 7 Element 7 Bander. And Bobby's working on the reflector 40 meters now. And right here is where the coils go. Hey, Bobby, where's the coil so I can take a video of that? Oh, they're, they're still packaged? Let me see if, they're, if I can get into it here. Yeah, so the, four, the 40 meter coils come in here, very well packaged and protected. I'm not gonna open that up. These are the supports that go underneath the elements. And this is where the 12 and the 17 meters go. See, there's two holes. Uh, 12 on the bottom, I think, and 17 on the top. Um, so, Bobby's already got the element supports on. So, this is what we do is we break this antenna down in half. So, this boom is 20 feet long. Right about here would be about, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 8 feet. And the other 12 feet will go in the trailer that's down over there. And we can get it in just like this. No problem. So we just have to split it in the middle. Bobby will have all the elements complete. So when we get to the station owner's property, we only have maybe a couple hours to work on the antenna itself. So I highly recommend this antenna over a step IR. Just because there's no moving parts and you get the same benefit. You get 10 through 40 meters all on one boom. The one thing you do not get with this antenna is 6 meters. But we put a 5 element 6 meter above this on the mast. And uh, it works just perfectly fine. So this is the GXP 7 element 7 bander. If you want to look it up, go to www.sp7gxp.pl and uh, you can research. Um, I will let you know that on, on FT8, you can run one kilowatt with this antenna. He has it only as 500 watts. We run one kilowatt all day long uh, with this antenna and uh, it's not a problem. The Bowen, the Bowen can handle. For a matter of fact, he, this is a 3,000 watt uh, capability Bowen. He has ones that are 5,000 watts. The only thing you have to worry about on an antenna like this with uh, digital modes is the trap. There is trap on this antenna. Um, for It's really basically, I think, for 17 meters. Um, I think... Um, never had an issue with a trap on any of these antennas, and we have several of these in the air for many years. So, um, the aluminum is very thick, but it's not heavy. It's not heavy. Um, the material is fantastic, as you can see, really nice U bolts. The, the mass plate is thick. This antenna probably weighs 100 pounds, but keep in mind you're getting two elements on 40, two elements on 30, plus three elements on 10. 12, 15, 17, and 20. You know, I'm not looking to sell this antenna because I don't make anything off of it, but I'm just telling you this is why we go this route. This is a fantastic option um, that 
you don't have to worry about moving parts. You don't have to worry about anything. So thanks for watching the video. Ray, W2RE.